started so i am making a really simple bow i know a lot of you say i can't tie a bow to save my life well you know what you don't have to actually tie one for this we're going to be using this wired ribbon i got both of these from joann's and let's see the width here i want to say it's two and a quarter yes two and a quarter inches wide but you can use whichever width of ribbon that you want it doesn't really matter just keep in mind that with the more narrow ribbon like this, really, really huge wide bows have a tendency to not look as good as shorter, more compact ones. So basically all you're going to do is just measure out a length of ribbon. Now, if you're going to put this on a project, let's say that this is your, your wreath here and you want the bow to be about this wide, just hold your finger there and then bend the ribbon right there. Because basically what we're going to be doing is making a loop. So I just bent that there and now I'm going to cut it here. All right, so let's spread this out. That will be our base layer. Now for our second layer, we're going to cut another piece of ribbon, but we're going to go just a little bit shorter than the first one. Like I said, you don't even have to measure these really. I mean, you can if you want to, but I don't. <laughs> so I have two pieces of ribbon here. Now let's take our first piece of ribbon and I'm going to glue it into a loop. Uh, I think my glue gun's hot, yes, aha. I just put some hot glue there and I'm just bringing this around like this to make a loop. All right, like so. Then we're just gonna set that off to the side and let that glue harden up, cool down, solidify, whatever. <laughs> now we're gonna do it with the next piece of ribbon. Just a little string, a little string, <laughs> a, little, a little strip of hot glue. Let's see, that looks good. Just press that down. All right, so I want the center of my ribbon. What color? Let's do gray on that one. So I'm just gonna cut another length just like this, just a short length. Now this piece we're gonna use to wrap around the bow. So we're gonna take it and I'm just gonna put a little strip of glue right here on the edge. And then we're gonna fold this over kind of towards the center. Doesn't have to perfectly be in the center. Just kind of get it, you know, sort of close. And then I'm going to put a little line of hot glue on the other side. So basically all that we're doing with this is we're just making, let's zoom in. We're just making a strip of ribbon here that doesn't have any raw edges here. I just folded it over on itself. All right, so let's set that over there. Now this is our big loop and this is where we glued it together. I want this to be towards the back so it doesn't show, okay? So I'm just gonna hold it like this. See, this is the seam towards the back and this is our loop. Now we're gonna take our other loop with the seam and just place it down like that and then press it down. Now let's try to get our edges somewhat nice, neat and straight. And then I'm just gonna take it and just scrunch it together like this. See how that makes a nice little two layer bow there? Now you can hold this with your hand or you can kind of put a, uh, I was getting ready to say a paper clip, <laughs> a clothespin and you'll get everything nice and straight. And then I'm going to put a blob of hot glue here. And now we're going to take this piece that we made, make sure that the seam is facing downward because you don't want that to show on front. Okay. And I'm just going to put it right there on the back of our bow. And I'm gonna hold that here just for a second so that the glue can kind of sort of take hold. It's probably not done, but I'm impatient. <laughs> so I'm going to release the crack and I'm going to release the clothespin and then we're just gonna take this center piece and just wrap it right on around like that. Put another blob of glue and just bring this around so that it holds everything together. And look at that, a nice and neat little bow. No tying, you don't have to do any tying with this. All you gotta do is some cutting and some gluing. 
Now see my ribbon is sticking up in the back and that's okay. Cause like I said, I don't measure anything when I make these. I'm just gonna trim that off with some scissors once the glue sets up. So let me get my clothes pin here and I'm just gonna hold that like that so the glue can kind of set up. If y'all hear that rumbling in the background, oh my gosh, it ha this has been like all week long. Like I said, I live in the Blue Ridge Mountains of North Carolina. We are getting absolutely hammered, hammered <laughs> with thunderstorms. All right, so for the tail, I'm just going to take a piece of whichever color you want. I think, you know what? Let's do green on this. Let's do green. And I have a piece over here that I was going to use for something that I made it too big. So you know what? I'm just going to use it. I hate wasting things. So just decide however long you want your tail to be. And then once again, you're just going to cut a piece of ribbon that's twice that length. See, because I folded it in half. Okay, so you say, okay, we want it to be that long. You just fold it and then cut it. And now I'm going to just cut a little notch in the ends here. Oh, that lightning outside, goodness. My power's already gone off a few times. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, just hold off so that I can get this video made, please. We sitting here filming and then all the lights go out and then y'all can hear me scream and panic to find a flashlight or something. <laughs> all right. So here is my piece of ribbon and I've dovetailed each end. Now, if your ribbon only has a design on one side, you're going to want to cut this in half so that, you know, it faces the same way. Or you can, you know, just do like that and fold it like I'm going to fold mine. You can do it however you want to. But for mine, I'm just going to take it like this because mine's pretty much double sided. It looks the same on each side. I'm just going to fold it like that and then space these out however far apart you want your tails. This should be good enough to take the uh, clip off. Let's see, all about like that. Yep, and then I'm just going to run a line of glue right across the top. I'll lay this down like that, and then we're just going to stick the bow on top. And there's a bow with tails. <laughs> goes a lot faster when you're sitting here making it yourself, and you don't have to explain how to do it. It goes really quickly, you know, and then you just glue it on to, to whatever your project is, whatever you want this to go on. So let's just trim off that top there and lay that out. And there is a beautiful, easy little bow. Now, if you want more tails, you can, you know, take more of the same colored ribbon. You can use different colored ribbon, just cut more tails and just glue it across the back and then glue it down. And you have a bunch fanned out, whatever you want to do. But there you have it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye!